welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day. Today's video, I am doing another celebrity diet fitness review, I guess. I don't even know what we're calling this series, but the first one I posted, if you missed it, I will leave down below in my description box, but I did Shay Mitchell. Pretty little liars, what up? Since you guys really liked that video, I decided to do another one, and this time we are doing Miss Selena Gomez. Give this video a thumbs up if you miss Wizards of Waverly Place. So this morning I did her workout routine and let me tell you, just long story short before we even get into the video, my legs fell off. Like they burn. It hurts so bad I'm basically sewing my legs back on as we speak. I love Selena Gomez's body. It's curvy, it's healthy, it seems like she indulges in bad food sometimes while also still eating healthy and while also working out. So her trainer at the moment that she's been working out with did post a workout video and it's a 30 minute video of Selena Gomez's workout, something that they do together, and I will put that down below. So today's video, I basically did that workout, and I'm gonna let you know highlight the points, I'm gonna let you know what I think, and in that video, she kind of explains the moves, and she explains, you know, the posture and all that, but she doesn't really go into detail about, like, why you wanna do certain things. She does a little bit, but, like, not too, too much. The video is more about the workout. So in this video, I kinda wanna talk about why you wanna do certain workouts and why this workout is amazing for students, especially if you are in high school or in a dorm room because it's great if you don't have a lot of equipment, if you're a busy mom, or if you're just at home watching Netflix and you kind of want to be like moving around in your living room but you don't really know which workout to do, this workout was amazing. It's crazy how not using any equipment at all you could be so sore. So if you want to hear all the things that I love about Selena Gomez's workout and what you need to be adding to your workout routine, then just keep watching. First thing you do is you start in second position, like ballet class, um, or you could call this a squat with your legs turned out. You start out with 50 of these. Let me tell you, your inner thighs and your butt cheeks burn. And not only that, you're keeping your arms up the entire time, so not only is this working the inner thighs, the butt, but it's also sculpting your arm muscles. It's basically a two in one. You're working your lower half and your arms. It's a twofer. Now I will say, 50 was pretty deep. I was kind of thinking like after I got through this that I was just not gonna do this workout routine anymore and just film a whole different video today because I was really bored. But once I made it through that, I was so glad because the routine just got more challenging and you know when a workout gets more challenging, you kind of start to forget about the time and you start to forget about like everything else. So I started really focusing on that and challenging my body. I could start to feel the sweat drip, which is crazy because once again, we're not using any machines, we're not using any weights. This is all our own body strength. It's a great core workout. You're also sculpting your abs. There are like no breaks in this workout routine. So after we, we do the squats and your legs just feel like they're gonna fall off and like just like peace out and be like, all right, bye, I can't do this anymore. You then go into a deeper squat and you do pulses. And this is really like, my butt was on fire. Like we're all going to have a bigger butt after doing this workout. So if building the booty, building the legs, sculpting the legs and sculpting the arms is something that you want to do while working the abs, I'm telling you, this workout routine is literally amazing. Okay, so after the pulses, we then go into this workout where we're on our tippy toes. Now I wanna highlight this workout. And the reason being is because not only only are you working everything that I mentioned before, but now we're working on balance. Anytime you're working on balance, you are strengthening your core so much. This will really help grow your ab muscles. Now, I've talked about this in previous videos. If you want to see abs and see the ab line definition, you do have to be on a healthy diet. However, you can grow your abs to a certain extent because they are a muscle by doing workouts. This is one of them. Okay, so this is another thing that I want to highlight. Her big thing, everything I've read about Selena Gomez is workout routine because before I film these kind of videos, I like to do my research and just kind of like read like multiple di different things. And her trainer did say that she likes to do a mixture of Pilates, cardio, and stretching. So she likes to mix stretching and yoga within the workout. And that's what we're doing here. So after our legs were on fire, and burning from the plies and all of that, we then went into this sort of stretch and tone. Stretch and tone is going to be great for long, lean muscles. So if you feel that you are bulking up, you know, doing a lot of weights at the gym and squatting a lot and all that kind of stuff, or even from running a lot, 
If you add stretch and tone into your workout routine, it will really help. It's great for building lean muscle as well as working on the core, working on your strength. And it feels amazing, especially after doing all of those squat plie things that we were doing in the beginning. This feels so good. It kind of gives your body a rest and ready to just kill it in the next segment. This is another reason why this workout routine is great for all my at-home ladies, all my ladies that like to work out at home like I do. She said that for this position where I'm kicking my leg up, beginners should hold on to something. So it was perfect doing this in my living room because I'm able to hold on to the couch and put my legs straight up. This part actually reminded me of my dance days. We then went into arabesque and we were kicking our leg, your butt cheeks. They're just gonna be like, peace. They won't be able to sit down. This hurts the butt so bad. I get questions all the time from Snapchat, Instagram, here on YouTube. What are ways you can build the booty? Besides lifting heavy weights and going to the gym, this is one of them. I mean, for example, say you wanna work like the area right under your butt cheek, like right here. This is going to be great for that. It's really going to be great at sculpting and really lifting the butt. So even if you don't necessarily get a bigger butt out of it, your butt will be lifted, which will give the appearance that you have a bigger butt. Then went to work the arms, doing basic circle movements towards you and then do them away from you. This is another great move to do at home and still sculpt and really get those cuts. That definition, you could really get that from just doing this. Okay, so I literally freaked out when I saw her doing this move because I've done this in previous workout videos, but basically to work that little part of your waist that you really wanna get anytime you are trying to tone your waist, this side to side motion is really going to help out. So I love that she put that in this video. However, hers is even better because she did this thing with her hands that she had us do, and it was like we were grabbing like this way, and grabbing that way, and grabbing this way, and grabbing that way. Really intensified the movement. Like it actually felt like I was grabbing something and pulling myself this way, then grabbing something and pulling myself that way. So this is another workout that I really want to highlight that you should definitely add into your routine. And at the end, she finished with abs, which I loved, and I loved her ab moves. I'm definitely going to be adding these ab moves into my routine. They're just unique, like this one especially. I mean, it hurt. Like holding your legs out like that and pushing yourself up like that. I was literally dead after this workout. I was so happy when it was over because I was so sore and I got so sweaty that Wyatt came over. He was sitting there the whole time and like did not care. And then the minute I was done, he came over to lick me because he like likes that stuff. So that's how you know I was really sweaty. So all in all, I loved her workout routine. I've tried celebrity workout routines before that was just kind of like, mm. and I will be doing this in the mornings. I think this is a great, fantastic routine. As long as you can get past the first initial 50 squats, like I said in the beginning, that kind of just like uh, started to bore me. Listen to good music or watch a TV show or listen to a book or something like that. Just kind of get your mind off of that. Then you will be golden. That was the only part that was just kind of like, and it really hurt, so that, like that didn't help. Next thing I want to talk about, I know that, that this, that, 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 can I talk? <laughs> I know that this video is more about her workout routine, but I did read some things on her diet. The article I found where her trainer is talking about Selena's diet, basically she was saying that she eats what she's craving, but she never overindulges, she never overeats. And I think that's a really good plan for somebody that's trying to maintain weight or somebody that doesn't really need to lose weight and they just kind of want to eat healthy, but also eat the things they like too. If you are trying to lose weight, then this might not be the best plan for you. And if you are trying to lose weight and you still want to eat foods that you enjoy, then just take a one day cheat day. And that's what I do. I do that every Saturday. It's 80% your diet. So any results you want to see, 80% of it is going to come from the diet. And I know that that sucks for some people that really enjoy working out and you know, killing it at the gym, but then you want to go home and eat ice cream. I mean, who doesn't want to do that? But for the most part, the big results you're going to see are going to be from the diet. And what you're going to see from the workouts and why they're just as important is you're going to see the muscle definition. You're going to see that from workouts. You know, working out can actually make you happier. It's crazy. Like if you're in a bad mood, go try to relieve your stress at the gym or do a workout routine at home, or even just go on a brisk walk and you will feel better. It like does something to your body that makes you feel better. Also working out burns calories. So you are able to eat more. So even if you come up with a diet plan that you're doing on days that you work out, you can actually eat more or you can add in more carbs. So yeah, that's basically everything I want to talk about in today's video. I will be putting her workout routine in my description bar so you can definitely check it out. It, it's good. It's good guys. You'll be so sore. You'll love it. So I love you guys so much. 
Comment down below the celebrity you want to see next, whether it's their diet or their workout routine. I got you. I'll do it. So I love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.